What's up, it's me, Tommy. Uh, so I've been ignoring my science content lately, or neglecting it, not ignoring it. Uh, but I've got a little treat for you guys today. It's down here. Um, let me explain this. So this thing is a giant capacitor and it's really powerful. Um, it's a 15 kilovolt, three microfarad capacitor, a pulse capacitor. It's filled with oil. This is the weird little plasma sword that I made, which is really like a hyped up Jacob's Ladder. This is a remote control, and we've got a servo, and a receiver, and a battery. And uh, we're gonna go out to the garage now and have some fun. Follow me. All right, so let me get you caught up to speed here. Uh, obviously, safety first, got some goggles. And here we are. We've got the 15 kilovolt Jacob's Ladder plasma sword thing, which I will use to charge the capacitor. Uh, hearing protection, because when it goes off, it is gonna be super crazy loud. I have a little chicken stick here, which will let me discharge this capacitor if uh, everything goes wrong. And then you see like a bunch of copper here, kind of wired up to these metal plates to make sure that everything has a secure connection. And we got the remote and this little guy right here. Uh, so this is a 27 gauge copper wire, and I tried blowing up hot dogs in the past and I had no success because apparently hot dogs just, the electricity goes on the outside of the hot dog instead of through the hot dog due to the skin effect, I think. Uh, but I talked to the backyard scientist and he said, try using a thin little copper wire. He recommended 32 gauge. I've only got 27 gauge, but we're gonna see if this works. So obviously first we have to do a little safety test. Battery's charged. And if you wanna see how I made this thing, uh, it's a video on my channel. It's called uh, Real Plasma Sword Lightsaber. There's a link to it in the description. There we go. Activate it and touch the copper wires. And discharge. That worked perfect. First step is to prepare the banana. Mm. I really hope I don't get banana everywhere. I mean, it's supposed to explode, so it's probably gonna happen. I'm not sure why I'm doing this or what I expected to happen, really. Such a stupid idea. It does nothing. That'll work. This is, this is so dumb. All right, let's do this. You should definitely follow me on Instagram. All right, for the first one, we're just going to film it in regular speed because I do not anticipate this banana blowing up. Remote activation. And even though there was a ton of energy in that blast, this banana is barely even charred at all. So now we're gonna stick the copper wire through it. Thread the needle. Yeah, kind of go in there a couple times, I guess. Now we're rigged up. Um, I'm gonna do this one in slow-mo. So I'm gonna cut the audio and play some beautiful music over this. So you can clearly see the copper wire exploding from where the copper ignition wire hit it to the banana and the spot where it hit the banana glows red for just a moment after it blows up. But the banana doesn't blow up so I'm wondering if maybe I had too much wire outside the banana. If anyone else has any idea how to get this banana to explode, please let me know in the comments. The most fun part of this project was getting the remote servo to detonate the banana wire. Well, part of the wire exploded, but not not the part that was insulated by the banana. Really? Um, it looks like it did cut through the banana a little bit, and there's a lot more damage now to the banana. Uh, and I probably should not eat said banana. That's fine. Uh, you can see like part of it has turned into a little cream. I think I just need uh, thinner wires or a more powerful capacitor. Anyways, 
Thanks for watching. It was a fun little video. I am going to try and get back to doing a little bit more science these days uh, because it's just so much fun. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you're new to my channel, please hit subscribe and have a great day.